What are you doing after school? You're smothering me. Sorry, sweetie. Well, ha have a good day at school. I love you. That's nice. I just don't want to say it until I know I really mean it. You did this to yourself. She's incapable of human emotion. It's a defense mechanism because she knows nobody will ever love her. Love, unlike your herpes, fades. I have my sights set higher. I don't have herpes. Mm, probably. Bye, 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 sweetie. Good morning, how are you? Oh, my mom's obsessed with me. She's even stalking me now. It's pathetic. I thought Jared was stalking you. Uh, you can have more than one stalker, Rachel. Where are we? Profits are up 13%. Overeaters Anonymous wiped us out of peanut butter surprises, but corporate assured me the next shipment will be here on time for the BBW convention. Make sure that happens. They're Drake's favorite. You're distracted. Have you heard about Mary Pepperhump? What about her? But that's before we thought of them as people, so it wasn't a big deal. Don't worry about the quiz tomorrow, Mary. You can sit it out. What do you want? Join the ginger snaps. I don't want your pity. We don't pity you, we envy you. The whole dying thing is a great angle. Who wouldn't buy a box of coconut crisp from a walking corpse? That's dishonest. Potato, potato. That's not how you use that phrase. And nobody in real life says potato. But neither of those things have to do with you coming to work for us, so who cares? Rach, go get me a soda. But, want anything? I'll take a cherry Coke if they have it. Two cherry cokes, go. Sorry about her. Ugh, she can be blunt, huh? If I do this, what's in it for me? Female friendship? I have friends. Well, I did before. Now they all treat me like I'm dying. Oh, Mary, you are dying. Yeah, but I don't want people to treat me that way. I can't change the fact that people pity you, but I can help you turn that pity into profit. We can use their stupidity against them so that you have the power. Power in the form of your bottom line. Our bottom line. We'll split everything 80-20. 50-50. Where do we start? We need to make you cancer <laughs> like Mark Strong. It's perfect. <sighs> We're gonna do great things together. She's killing our profits. I'll take care of it. Do you need any help? Hey, Rachel, why don't you climb out of my butt and go sell some cookies? Judas. No, it's me, Mary. Remember? This is what I look like now? Yeah, I know, you idiot. Wanna buy some banana bread? We had a deal. You were gonna sling sugar for the ginger snaps. 
And I was also going to meet Taylor Swift. Things change. You're a Swifty? Gross. I know that she's cheesy and mainstream and adorable, but she's also funny and charming and a good female role model. I want to smack her and hug her. I want to kick her teeth out and then nurse her back to health. I want to stab her in the eye socket and then spit lemon juice into that eye socket. But I also want us to braid each other's hair and get rhinestone friendship bracelets. Wow. The point is, I had my own dreams, but those dreams die. Meeting Taylor Swift seems like a very achievable goal. Not with my medical bills, it isn't. My parents don't have money for that anymore. Oh, that's really sad. This is the only way I'll get the money I need to get the tickets. You're doing it. You're trying to get me to pity you, so I'm not mad anymore. <laughs> my mom lost her job, and my dad can barely support us. I'm not listening. La, la, la. How much for three sugar cookies, darling? Stop. Don't you see? She's manipulating you, Fingers. She's using her cancer to make you feel bad so you spend more money and she can buy a photo op with American sweetheart Taylor Swift. You're a tiny monster. Thank you. Not her. You. I thought we were friends. Be honest. This was never about us being friends. It was about you selling cookies. That was true at first, but then it became something more. I want to believe you, but I don't. <gasps> Here, take some banana bread. On the house. I don't want your banana bread! Yuck! right now and you were right I was just using you for your cancer at first but spending time with you made me realize that we have so many shared interests makeovers frozen yogurt exploiting your illness for financial gain I don't expect you to forgive me but I want you to know I'm sorry Callista hi mrs. P is Mary here I have something for her oh sweetie didn't you hear Mary had such a wonderful spirit. Even when the cancer spread to her lungs, nothing got in her way. Except that bus. Well, guess that takes care of our Mary Pepper hump problem. Calista, 